Um, I've set up a little uh, video tutorial of how to um, work with Mojo Motors and how to add blog entries to a currently existing website. I have um, installed a very simple basic default theme that comes for free with Mojo Motors so that theme is of course not and a theme that it's going to run on, on your website. Um, this is just uh, a demo version here, of course. Uh, the functionality, however, will be uh, very similar. And um, what I'm going to do now is I just um, log in and um, show you a little bit around. First of all, the two pages I've set up is about. Just copy paste the, the content of your current website in here. And I've set up some dummy blog entries in this default theme uh, with two entries currently. What happens is uh, you have a title and some excerpt text that is limited to 20 words. You click on it and you get the entire entry. This of course is only placeholder text and it can be as long as you uh, fancy. Going back to the um, home page of our blog and here the about with some um, some real text and some images of course so the clue of that system is that it's um, very easy to update even easier as the one that I've actually quoted you in the first place um, the two systems coming from the same company though and that makes it very interesting so if you're running out of space and it becomes a little bit more clumsy especially with blog entries after a while you can easily settle and upgrade and um, just import all the entries that you've made into the bigger system so we're going to visit our backend a bit it's not a real backend it's something um, hybrid so we've seen all of a sudden we have some top navigation bar coming up that's all front end still and we can Still visit our pages. This is our about page and this is our blog page. So you want to add a new blog entry. This is very easy. You just go into this panel up here. You see this is my new blog and another cool entry. The titles are up here corresponding to those here. You just simply create a new entry. You give it a new title. You copy in or write, I'll just copy in some more placeholder text. You give it a status of published and you just simply create that entry. Clicking on block again will show you the new entry here. So it's already live, but that was it. This is how you simply create a a block entry. Updating static pages is also very easy. It's called inline editing. Sounds very technical, but what it only means is that you have your editable areas of your web page overlaid with some different color. You simply click on it, it automatic automatically changes, and you can actually edit. I'll just take in a few words to demonstrate that. And down here, you save that, and that is it. You can easily just click this away, and here you are, your edited content. Clicking back to your blog, here's your blog posts. You can even add um, categories if you wanted to. There is no categories in here yet, but um, you can easily create some and you can make them visible on the sidebar etc etc so very easy now I just want to show you how to include images to your blog posts you will see that tab bar appearing again go to your blog 
see your entries, you think some more great work finished. That log entry would really deserve some images. You just edit that, give your text, point your cursor where you want it, click the little image thumb, and um, start uploading. I just use something from here and upload see preview and so that's fine we leave it at that size we uh, just simply say okay no that's fine with me and um, press okay now we visit our blog some more great work finished and here we go our images are made. You might even want to use include some links to some external sites. Same thing for that. This part here, we just mark it, click on the little chain icon, and type in the um, URL. Okay, that link is set, update entry, great, um, let's see how it comes out. Go to our blog entry, and here we are. Click on it, and here's your own website. So again, altogether, a very easy system, and um, very user friendly, very quick creating blog entries, etc. etc. Um, this is the website here, Mojo Moto, if you want to read a bit more about it. Again, it's the same company that produces also the software that I initially quoted to you, but of course, now with a different price, I think that's a fine thing to do. After creating everything, you just simply log out. And that was it.